A self-proclaimed serial killer with possible ties to Tampa is finally back in Florida tonight. Eight on Your Side investigates used online records to track him from New York City to a federal facility. Sexual, sexual offender Nicholas Gibson will soon face charges for one murder, but Gibson claims he's actually killed at least seven, including a man reportedly from the Tampa Bay area. Eight on Your Side investigates tracing Gibson's movements in the months leading up to the alleged murder in South Florida. Tonight, investive, uh, investigative reporter Masa Saidi has new insight after speaking exclusively with a man who says he has known Gibson for years. Well, Stacey Keith, that man says he got a call from Gibson late last year. He was out of prison and he desperately needed a place to stay. I just didn't want him in my home, period. And it obviously, as you can see yourself, thank God. Derek Strat says he met Nicholas Gibson in 2011. Back then, he seemed clean cut, charming, and popular. Fast forward eight years. Did you kill that guy in Florida? I heard there was a sword. Yes. Police say Gibson confessed to killing a 77 year old. Strat was at home when he saw the breaking news. Homicide detectives shutting down a Miami Beach neighborhood after discovering a bloody scene. Strat says the victim was Gibson's roommate and just a few months before, around November 23rd, 2018, Gibson had actually asked to stay with him. Do you feel like you dodged a bullet? Oh, you know I most definitely do. Okay, because it could have been me. Tonight, police across Georgia, California, and Florida still looking into Gibson's claims that he killed six more people. Strat breaking his silence and speaking with eight on your side from his home in Miami. He claims he killed a bunch of people. Do you believe mm, that? I don't put it past him. Was he ever violent towards you? Never. One of Gibson's alleged victims was a Russian man killed in the Tampa Bay area, according to sources cited by the Daily Mail. Dozens of law enforcement agencies checked out this claim after our emails. They tell Aid on Your Side they have no matching unsolved murders, and a search of their systems shows no other trace of Gibson. Did he come to the Tampa Bay area, to the best of your knowledge? No, ma'am. I have no idea and definitely no recollection of him sharing with me that he was in the Tampa Bay area. Aid on Your Side Investigates also obtained this document from FDLE. In 2016, Gibson lived in Homestead and worked in Jupiter. Soon after, he spent two years locked up in Florida. And the months before the alleged murder, there's no registered address for him. Strat says he was in the Miami area. Tonight, Strat also talking about a recent significant event in Gibson's life the loss of his partner. How did she die? He told me that she died by a drug, uh, by her a heroin overdose in a motel in Jupiter, Florida. Was he there at the time? Yep, he was. And you might remember that last month an NYPD officer was hurt as Gibson was being arrested. Well, New York City prosecutors say they dismissed those charges to expedite his extradition here to Florida to face murder much more serious. They wanted to get that going. Mm. But he's confessing to a lot. Any jurisdiction have been able to corroborate any of these uh, additional claims about murder? So we've been checking into that. And at this point, we don't know of any jurisdiction that has corroborated Gibson's claims that he's a serial killer. Police say he hasn't even been formally charged with the Miami murder yet. He's still in federal custody, and we expect that that's going to change shortly. We are going to continue to stay in touch with local authorities about his potential ties to the Tampa Bay area. All right. Thanks, Masa. And if you have a problem you would like Masa to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline, 1-800-338-0808.